What's going on everybody? It's your boy Caesar, and we are talking about a few different mining stocks today. I've got the music playing. I will pause it once we get into the technical analysis, just in case anybody's wondering. I just like to have it playing for the intros and for the outros, if I remember to play it for the outros. Or if, for whatever reason, I need to step away mid-video, I can play it for some background noise. Uh, hopefully it's more pleasant than it is annoying, but without any more of that, we're going to talk about Riot today and WGMI for Mr. Bear or Mrs. Bear. We don't know. It is hibernation season, though. They're coming out soon. Riot and WGMI for Bear. And then we're going to talk about Clean Spark for JSBX. We're going to talk about BTOG for Hella Chic and finishing it up with IREN for Matthew K. And without any further ado, you guys, let's get started. So pausing the music now. Moving on. Looking at Riot. Um, down this month, 14%, up this week though, right? Up a little bit. Um, you are, again, I, I start all my videos off recently with, with the mining stock saying that you are at areas in the price where it wouldn't be crazy to bounce. I'm just not assuming that you do. The way you're looking, man, rejecting there, rejecting your 50 twice, it's not a good look. Long-term moving average below your 50, yeah, man. I said below, you're, re you're rejecting your 50, rejecting the 50 here, and you're rejecting your 123, and you're rejecting the 50 on the long-term moving average. For those of you that don't know, you know it's been a while, but I've got the long-term moving average on here. Um, it's a little bit different. It reacts differently. There's more or less, it's the same kind of rules, but but it's a little bit more broad, I should say. Really what you want to focus on is are you above the 50, are you below the 50, and in relativity to this 123 moving average, I feel like it pairs very well. Essentially, if you're above the 50 on the long term, but you're below the 123 moving average, as, as you were here above the 50 but below it here, you're likely going to go up. Uh, if you're above the 123 moving average but you're below the 50, you're likely going to go down, if, if that makes sense. And then whenever you're in times of moving sideways, they become less reliable, but that's any indicator. Just so you guys know, any indicator, almost every indicator, really, other than volume, when you're moving sideways, they become unreliable. Volume's reliable because when you're moving sideways, you're dropping in volume. As it goes on, as time goes on, you're boring people out of the markets. Everybody that's wanted to trade in those ranges, they trade. Um, have I paused the music already? I have. Okay, good. And that's why you get less volume. And then once the volume breaks, when you get more volume, you get that breakout in price. So really, almost every indicator besides volume becomes unreliable when you move sideways. And we're definitely moving sideways right now. That's all I'm trying to say. I do expect that we go lower. You're at $12.05 now. I would expect that you move down to about $9.00 if not at least $10, if not lower, man. Riot really could go lower. It could go down to about 660 if it really wanted to. But right now, I am expecting that you'll hold this low. Uh, you probably move down to around 1020 if not down to about 9 bucks. That's Riot. So let's move on from there. We're talking about WGMI, right? WGMI, Valkyrie Bitcoin Miners ETF. Um, Poised properly, looking great. Actually, looking pretty good. It's probably because of micro strategy. Because I'm pretty sure this uh, ETF holds some micro strategy. Ah, uh, yeah, tip in the 618. You probably come down, man. You're probably going to go, you're at 1822. You're at least going to go to 1762, if not 1678, if not lower. I don't know if this one forms lower lows, but I do think it goes lower from here. So that's WGMI. Clean Spark, CLSK. Love Clean Spark, man. It's doing great. Wow, what a day. You actually had a new high even. Uh, barely, just so barely, but 20% up, man. That's, that's no small feat to accomplish um, in a day, man. This thing loves to do it. That's not a lot of volume for Clean Spark whenever it does this, but it is, it is above average volume. I guess it is a lot of volume, just not relatively speaking, but it is, it is a pretty large amount of volume, actually. I take it back. I'm not trying to dismiss it at all. Let's see. High to low above the 786. I mean, if this week were to close here, it would look really good. You would likely go be good for about 29.60. You're at $23 now. But you guys, I very much am still expecting that we see 11.89 or and likely lower. Lower is what I'm thinking. Can be wrong. Been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. But. Technically, right now, even if you close the week right here, actually, you'd have double, triple, you'd have triple bearish divergence, which wouldn't look good. And that that divergence started back here. So inevitably, I do think you go down. 
Yeah. Still holding out for that lower price, man. Still holding out. And if it goes down there, I'll just buy more probably. But that's Clean Spark. Looking like, I mean, it looks good. It looks really good right now, but I'm, I'm not impressed. I think it does want to move down. But we'll see, man. If you go up higher tomorrow, if you get some more volume in tomorrow too, you continue building volume as you have been, uh, you, this could be a different story. You might be moving up to about like 26 bucks, 29 bucks, something like that. That's Clean Spark. BTOG. Bit Origin Limited. Somewhat of a diamond pattern, huh? That looks like a diamond pattern to me, man. A very weird diamond pattern because there's no wicks breaking out of it, but that is a diamond pattern and a half, if I've ever seen one. Diamond top, as they're called. Uh, bearish diversions, it's already completed. Lower highs after lower highs. What's this doing? High to low here. I don't know. I don't. I don't hate it, man. It doesn't look bad. I think you move lower. You have five twenty six. You probably move to around like four forty. You almost look like you've broken it already. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're gonna move up. Maybe you are. Oh man, this kind of goes against my better judgment. If you move down, you're moving to 440, okay? But I kind of want to say you're moving up. In which case, you would move 1252. 1763 and the more immediate terms would be looking for 655 to 703 but inevitably up here so let's see how you react to that 655 level but if you reach up for there man you're going to break out of this diamond pattern already and that would send you probably up to this 1272 1618 even higher looking good looking good best one out of all of them so far i want to see you move up from here don't move lower tomorrow move up continue to move up i r e n Iron, Iris Energy. Weekly RSI, looking good. Finding lows where it counts. It kind of reminds me of WGMI. Right? Wag me, whatever. Let's see, I don't know, man. High to low here. Yeah, I, I want to say this one wants to move up higher too. If you move lower, you're going to be up above 450. You could move lower, but still be above 450. I think you want to move higher though. Let's see how you do with 661, 710. If you can close above 661, you might be moving up to 1272, $18, something like that, man. And that makes sense because right there, that 1618 previous areas of resistance, the 1272, also kind of at the support you slipped below it but support was definitely held here and right there as well so 1272 to 18 bucks man might be where you're moving but let's see how you do with that 1661 area if you can close above that if you can blast through that if you can just at least close above it i would be more convinced on a daily basis for a couple days if not a weekly basis would be nice but i think you want to move up so that's that if you guys like the video hit that like button. Thank you all for coming. I very much do appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one. For uh, for those of you who might be wondering, I'm not doing requests every single day, right? I take requests every day. I write them down. I take note of them um, every day. But I only will do requests from now on on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Um, for you, it might be Wednesday already. You know, it's it's almost Wednesday for me here. So I, I know that might sound weird. You're like, you're like Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. It's Wednesday for me. Maybe it is. Maybe you're on the West Coast or you're, you're west of here where the time is still earlier. But, but nonetheless, guys, that's the uh, that's the given days on my Tuesdays, on my Thursdays, on my on my Sundays, uh, which might be early Wednesdays, might be early Fridays, might be early Mondays for you. But depending on where you are in the world. But uh, I know we got a, a lot of uh, people on the channel that are from across the ways on the Atlantic. You're on the east side of the world there. And uh, so you're, you're a little bit ahead of schedule. For you guys, it's already well into uh, Wednesday, but I don't know, man. I'm just explaining. I'm over-explaining. So with that, I leave you. 
Have yourselves a good night. Hit that like button, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.